Peace and blessings. Shalom, everyone. This is Ronye Hawkins signing in. I'm the founder of Paint With Words Incorporated, and this is my artistic journey. I am what one would consider as a renaissance man. I'm a man of many talents. But I would say one of the most powerful tools that has really shaped my life has been writing. As they say, writing is my superpower. My mother introduced me to poetry when I was 12 years old because she discovered that I had an anger management issue. You see, I'm from the Midwest and I was raised in Orlando, Florida. And during that time frame, I went through a lot of adult-like situations at a very early age. I discovered that I lost a lot of my friends due to gang violence. One of my childhood friends was murdered at the age of 19. He was set up by his girlfriend. And, and even when I got into high school, I discovered that I had a cousin who was an underclassman. And she had her first kid at 12 years old. So through the power of writing and being able to be introduced to poetry by my mother, um, poetry became my voice of reasoning. It allowed me to um, just leak out all my emotions on a beautiful canvas and to just reflect on life through that vein. I was able to have a voice. I was able to express myself with no restrictions. And because of poetry, Poetry has allowed me to um, come across some beautiful, beautiful relationships with artists and producers and being able to perform uh, at places like the Zero Near Hurston Festival. Um, I got into spoken word and even into college. My college professors discovered this talent that I have as well. And I became the youngest African-American writer to be published in the College Literary Magazine on campus. Uh, I was able to open up for national recording artists, independent artists, being able to work with producers, being able to work with so many people. And through not just poetry and spoken word and just writing, it transformed into many different um, avenues and it opened up many doors for me because of that uh, I got into acting uh, through my good friend Daryl Allen Jenkins who passed away back in 2014 and he was the one that really believed in me and, and you know my acting began to take shape and then I got into dancing and choreography uh, that began to take shape and I've been dancing and, and choreographing for over 15 years now and I had a chance to work with national recording artists and I had a chance to do a period piece for a film called The Season which is now on Tubi. Um, poetry has allowed me to do many many different things but I would say the, the, the most amazing thing that has happened for me was acting has really taken shape and when I established my imprint paint with words in 2016 I was able to put together my own music video uh, the video was called keep on fighting it's based on a song uh, I went ahead and submitted it to the International Christian Film Festival in 2017 and then it got nominated and selected top 20 out of 500 submissions from there fast forward um, I started to book different movies and films i was featured in season two of david makes man i was uh, had a speaking role in award-winning documentary called the grove of the four moving forward as we speak right now up to date as i said I have, I have a speaking role in the season which is on tubi right now and i have a feature role in the number one suspense thriller called endangered which is on amazon prime now so I'm very grateful for all the opportunities that has happened for me through the vein of just writing and performing and being able to showcase someone's story or to tell my story, but most importantly, being able to pour into other people and to inspire them and to encourage them and tell them to keep going and be resilient, to go after your dreams, but above all, put God first in everything that you do. So. That's my story. Thank you.